going on everyone welcome back to the channel it's your boy dead on dave and i am back with a one month update on the diet yes i've been on the diet for one month strong have not broken i've still not eaten any bread or anything like that but i'm certainly not starving myself and i've had fantastic my beard's all messed up i've had fantastic results as you guys can see right at the bottom of your screen I started at 349 and now after a month I am down to 331 that is right 18 pound loss through one month and it's all through diet change I can't do any physical exercise really I'm I'm crippled can't do a lot of physical exercise I've gone to the pool but I mean I haven't really I've not like I'm doing laps every day or anything it's really all about diet so this has been a, like this last week has been emotional because I did not think I did well this week. I was not happy with some of the, my eating choices, even though they weren't that bad. Like my wife is constantly telling me, no, it's not that bad. You're being ridiculous because I do tend to take things to the extreme. And I had to be reminded of that, that if I didn't stop, I would probably break because I was making myself crazy. So two things that happened this week that were interesting. One, I had a Dunkin' Donut for the first time in like 15 years. And, you know, I was so excited because you don't see them over here in Germany. And I got one, I ate it and I was like, huh, it just left me sad. It was weird because I haven't had any sugar, like real, like that type of sugar in a while. It really didn't do anything for me. And it kind of turned me off to it completely. I didn't like the way it made me feel. I didn't like anything about it. It just did not do much for me. I really did not enjoy it. So I think that I've really turned the corner as far as cravings go. So that was one big positive. The second happened the next day when it was, uh, no, two days later, the 4th of July, my wife did a big barbecue and she bought me a bunch of chicken stuff, including like chicken wurst, chicken sausage, basically. And I was a little hesitant, but I didn't eat anything else that day as far as rice or anything like that. So it really didn't turn out to be a negative day. And it's just, I kind of needed that. I needed that really good barbecue taste feel, you know, whatever, you know what I mean? Kind of to, to balance me back and get me a little bit more focused. So when I stepped on the scale this morning, I was a little bit surprised to see this 150.5, 150.5. That means I'm almost out of the 150 kilogram range, which means I'm almost eligible to start doing normal guy things again. Uh, as far as here, you know, like scale, we had to get a scale because most scales, more than 150, it ain't happening. So it bikes, a lot of them are 150 kilogram as far as the uh, restrictions. So it's just kind of cool to have that happen. And it's just, next week, if I continue on this path, I should be out of the 150s altogether. So when you're going through all of this, it's good to reflect and see what you've been doing to not only see how you got to where you are, but to see where you were and how not to get back to that point. So I thought it would be productive to show you guys a few things. This is an average bowl that I usually used to use for like anything for measuring food, salads. Uh, not, I didn't eat salads before, <laughs> cereal, pasta, whatever. This is a big bowl. These are the type of bowls that I would I would eat out of. I mean, like this is this holds a lot of food. Maybe it doesn't seem like it's it's very big, but let me give you an idea of here's a remote, a big ass remote control. Look how big this is. Look how deep it is. I mean, that is significant. It's a significant amount of food that can go in there. And this is the bowl that I'm now eating cereal out of. Now, yes, it's Star Wars, eat me, uh, but just look at the size differential. And this gets the job done. I eat muesli, which is a cold oatmeal with fruit and stuff in it. That's what I eat every morning, and it fills you up for hours. It's really, really good. If you can find something like that wherever you live and, you, and that's what you're trying to diet, it's a really good thing. This bowl gets the job done. I don't give a shit that it's a kid bowl. It works. It gets the job done. And I, put, I have fresh bananas. And the muesli that has some fruit in there and oatmeal, it's cold oatmeal. It's really good. A little bit of milk, boom, you're, you're good. And it's just, that's something, it's small, but it's so important. And look, <laughs> look, 
That bowl fits inside of this bowl. That's insane. Look at that. That's the that's really the visual I should have gave. Those are the type of things that I was eating out of and I was lying to myself that it wasn't a big deal. That's a big deal. That's a lot of food and it's why I got up as high as I did. You know, what you guys have seen over the past year and some change on this channel or two years almost on this channel is nothing compared to what I used to be four years ago. You know, I was 475 pounds, you know, and now I'm down to 331. It's really more about the, the pound that I started at during this kind of uh, this whole month process. I started at about 350. So being down to 331, it's just, it's a lot. So thank you guys for all your continued support. It means the world to me. So continue to support. And if you have any stories you would like to share, please throw them at me and I'll get them up here. All right. Thank you guys very much. Like, subscribe, and share. And as always, if you don't have talent, have talented friends. Check out what's going on in the show. If you like wrestling and sports, we got a live show tonight. going to be a lot of fun, okay? We'll see you next time. Keep it copious. Peace.